TVA's Acura Series, Vergara barrels for guaranteed accuracy, nitride for guaranteed rust proofing, and a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. This segment is being sponsored by Mowing and More, proudly serving Wilson County for over 15 years. Give them a call for all of your lawn care, landscaping, and irrigation needs. All right. This week's recipe is being sponsored by Courtney's Restaurant and Catering Service. And we have the one, the only, Shannon DT Brown. We which got, means we got down her back down. in here. <laughs> <laughs> I just came up with that. She found a slot in her schedule. <laughs> yeah. And we were able to get her back right. down here. It wasn't like the pressure would put on her either. <laughs> she said, this Thursday? <laughs> yeah, that's then right. I could read you the text. It had well, a lot of exclamations behind it, but it said, well, this Thursday? <laughs> well, we give at least a good day's notice or so it's usually. Like six hours notice. <laughs> Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Shannon is, has got, uh, first of all, one of my dearest friends. And she owns our table catering service, which I talked her into starting. <laughs> that took about that took Chris and I about five and a half hours one night. <laughs> but we finally talked her into that, and now you know she used this show to kind of kick it off a little bit. And now it's just like bling. I mean, she's got <laughs> bling, and she's on talk of the town, and we're just so proud to have her. We are. I mean, it's a special treat for us to have this lady. It is, although she has been killing us for she's about 20 minutes without hot plate over there. Miss <laughs> Shannon, what in the world have you got going on over there? Okay, well, we're calling this segment Recipe of the Week, but i got to tell you, I think your viewers may be ripped off because there's not even a recipe to this. Is well, it, this is what I like to call a happy accident. A happy accident? Yeah. And there's, because there's That's the recipe. That's what Mama said about me. Yeah. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing because it's easy peasy. So I'm just going to talk. And That's the second time I've heard this. easy peasy today. It <laughs> is. It's super easy. So I was catering a multi-day event uh -huh. okay, for a construction crew. And they came in about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Their crew chief said, we need some sort of snack to keep these guys going. They're working so hard. Can you give me some sort of special treat for them? I hadn't planned on special treats. I planned for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so I, of course, as calm as I could be, said, sure, no problem. And he left the kitchen. I was at a, a campground and convention center. They let me use their kitchen. So I was in a panic and I started scrambling. I thought, what am I gonna feed these guys? And so I wanted it, he wanted something that was kind of sweet, that they didn't get all the time, but not overfilling. Maybe some protein, carb, kind of just give them a boost. Get okay. some more production out of them. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought about peanut butter. That's kind of healthy. Yeah. I thought about bananas. That's a whole food. It's healthy. healthy. And I thought, hey, we could do a peanut butter banana sandwich. And I was going to quarter them. And then I realized they didn't have bread. So I thought, what am I going to do? And I looked, and they had honey buns. So this is what we do. We take a honey bun. We slice it in half. We throw it on the flat grill and we fry it. And you can put some butter down, which I put some more down earlier. Uh -huh. And while that's frying, you take your banana and you're just gonna slice you some pieces of banana and it'll only fry. Now I've got this on low, so don't burn it. But if you're using a flat grill at home, maybe 325, 300, yeah. won't take very long at all. You just wanna warm it up and it's gonna be sugary and gooey and sticky. And then while it's hot, you're going to slather some peanut butter on it and that peanut butter is going to melt and as it's melting you sink those bananas down into it and then you put the other half of the honey bun on top of it and you let it sit for a second and you cut it in half and I call it the sweet Elvis. The sweet Elvis. Yeah but everything gets all gooey and something about frying the honey bun changes it. The flavor. It does. Mm -hmm. They loved it. And this has become a favorite snack in my household. We make it all the time if we want something quick and easy Literally, and just to indulge in something sweet. <laughs> yeah. And that's really all there is to it. Now, I will tell you, I am not a peanut butter and banana fan. So what I have done is I've experimented with this. And I like granola. And so you can, after you spread the peanut butter, get a granola bar, and smash it up, and just pour granola on top of it and eat it that way. 
I have had other people say they pour Hershey syrup across the top of it after it's put together. Or you can drizzle honey across the top of it. You can use hazelnut spread instead of peanut butter. What if butter. you use eat all of the above? <laughs> that would be one massive snack. And probably a sugar coma. Yeah, that'd be so super healthy. Production would be at 212%. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But it's just a, it's a sweet little treat for snack time. If you just want something, you know, most of us live the, the majority of our lives on a diet of some sort. This is my indulgence. When I have one of those days and I just need something, different. This is what we do. How many days a week do you have one of those days? Honestly, yeah, at least I, once a week. Well, I'm going to two. <laughs> <laughs> With this, because I, I got to share this on. Well, I tell you what, we we appreciate Miss Shannon. Sweet Elvis, I'm going to tell you yes. something. That is, that is a super nice recipe. Check her out too. She's got our table catering and, and uh, you know, Tom Courtney does a great job in Mount Julian, but if you want somebody up there in North Nashville area uh, or all around the West Nashville, Miss Shannon can help you out too. So uh, go give her a shout also. Check her out. She's been on Talk of the Town, by the way, a few times too. So we're just lucky as heck to get her. We well, are. Yeah, we're glad to have her back. We're glad in. to have her back, aren't we? <laughs> we're going to have to get her set up again tonight. <laughs> all right. So. we got to take another quick break. When we come back, we're going to have our calendar event. So we'll hurry back to more Southern Woods and Waters.